Tommy Morrison was one of the most feared punchers in boxing during his career, but the actual total fights, victories, and knockout he owns are astounding. He turned pro in November 1988, reel off 28 straight wins and clobber some recognizable names. If you put Rocky Marciano and Floyd Patterson together, you'd have me. With a knockout victory over fellow heavyweight contender Donovan Razor Ruddick, Lennox Lewis and Morrison were able to reach an agreement to face one another during the fall of 1995 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Another thing you can also say about Lennox Lewis is that, unlike all the heavyweights out there, he has never ducked an opponent. Also an ex-champion, the 27-1 Lewis was two wins removed from his shocking 1994 loss to Oliver McCall. It helped me to realize the team around me wasn't as tight as I, I would have wanted it. He had surrendered his WBC belt in that defeat and on his subsequent path to redemption beat relative unknowns Lionel Butler and Justin Fortune. On October 7, 1995, Lewis and Morrison clashed at the Atlantic City Convention Center for Morrison's IBC belt, though the title was a minor formality for two fighters who had experienced bigger levels of success and failure. We're all in this to make money. That's what it's all about. I could care less if everybody thinks I'm a good fighter. I'm not. Tommy Morris. I don't think I can outbox Lennox Lewis. Using this jab like he is, the weight that Lennox has added looks good in all the right places. It must be from his upper body. His upper body is good. Morrison presents as formidable a picture as there is in the heavyweight division. Yes, the bout was a thudding six-round battle and a true crossroads match that effectively defined both fighters' futures. is because the best half to hit. Lewis's jab has dominated the action so far. In Lewis's corner, I would be telling him to throw the straight, that remove Tommy Morrison's hand. Right, ready. Time, time. To force, but he threw 52 snapping jabs. Stewart. Reworking of Lennox Lewis's fighting style. Later in the fight, if he starts one thing we've noticed in Lewis's past fights. The same thing right now, though. He should be working Lewis's body. For him to have an advantage, he should throw. For Lewis, it was an impressive performance that jump started his reclamation of dominance. Long stride, and that's good body shot. Good body shot by Morrison, but he goes down. What happens to Morrison? Lewis just misses with a run. Lennox Lewis that put Morrison down has apparently also cut his up. He makes himself a steel target for Lewis. Both fighters need for Lewis. Trying to block Morrison's way in with Lennox it. Lewis and he's as he goes right The way he's throwing the hook is all moving. After the opening exchange, but end of his jab for the time being. Lewis must be careful when he throws decade of the 90s, the Tommy Morris and Lennox Lewis. And if Morris keeps that pace, you can count for a 12 knockdown. And you're in his punching reach. And he is for Morrison, it was the last important bout of his career, which would soon be derailed by a bizarre health odyssey. Combinations because Lennox is doing something smart. Morris is punching, which is what I told you would be If I were Morris at a time, hoping to tie Lennox in the later round. Exactly what's going on. Looking to national. I can tell you one more thing that I can see. Martin is getting a little closer to Lennox. Big, but grazing right. Into a close, and relatively cautious time. round for Lewis. But you never should underestimate him. I wouldn't try to walk him down. I would sit there. It's almost like Batman is much harder than he is doing right now. So yeah. about, they're he's starting going. to connect more and more frequently with those right hands as he steps inside. To Stewart and elects to walk on in. Powerful, sharp punches. There was no way he could outbox Lennox Lewis. He should walk on trying to counter that jail. As it was, Lewis didn't put a foot or a hand wrong on the night of October 7th. Knowledge, and you've really got something, but that's always been the case. You have to be very careful of that right hand right there. And that's what Tommy just tried to do, countering over the jab with the right hand punches. Morrison maybe landing the harder shots, although noted as a left hooker, it's been his. Blood from the right eye of Morrison again after that left hook by Lewis. And 
And as the graphic shows you in this stanza it against Razor Rudder. The only thing is that thought it's as well, and this should start. Harold Letterman, how do you have it scored so 35, far? 35, Lennox Lewis. I gave Lennox Lewis. Tommy's not getting through, and I think Vergat is coming. And forward, right. Lennox simply jabs. He's been it. very effective in the first minute of this round. Range and then trying to fight and get in to stay out of Lennox's range, and he has the longest arm. Wilson landed a left hook after Lewis's right. and appears to be losing his vision. Winning every minute of every round along the way, Lewis closed the show via sixth round TKO. As has been the pattern. All goes on. And there's a monumental uppercut. Morrison went to one knee. Lane calls it a knockdown. Has that I give up look on him. Lennox knows it. Lennox is just going to keep coming. They said that Morrison throws and they're insane. So Go out and see can he land a big shot now. Oh, that's a, a chance to try for one more knockout. Then I think he knows that he'll make a statement here anytime. In play to the doctor, I've still got my left hook. This thing is fast. I'm dangerous. Not been a factor so far. Now it goes Morrison again, and this is becoming a blowout. Gets to showboat just a little bit. Now he comes back. Tommy had been oddly passive in the fight, outclassed and severely overpowered and outboxed. Let's go behind a good jab and just throw some combination. It wouldn't be too much. No excuses. I mean, he did. He was a better man tonight. Mainly behind the left jab. That was the key. Even though he wasn't landing it early in the fight, it kept Morrison from getting set into any attack. The winner, former heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis.